So that means a seal diaphragm. And the flesh is uh, probably perished or something. So we just basically put this back out. Pop that one out, and then you'll see that there's a Phillips head in there. I'll take that out. Turn the water off if you like, which is just down there. The isolator. Or you can just give it a good old twist and uh, pull it out like that. And just leave it running. But yeah, wow. So I just put the code in the AH000. One seven zero zero. I'll just put the code in, and uh, I found one here at uh, City Plumbing, and we've got a City Plumbing. I've just rang them, and they've got uh, five in stock. Right, there we go. Just back from City Plumbing, which is great because it's around the corner. Uh, we've got a new, new diaphragm or seal, whatever you want to call it. We just put a little flathead in there, just giving that. Just a little twist. Difficult to do it with uh, one hand, but there you go. That pops off. And match it up with our new seal. There you go. So just pop that back on, just literally pushes on. There you go, nice new seal. So let's put this back in. You see there's a little flat bit down the bottom. You need that to sit in there. Like so. There you go, that's in. Well, it wouldn't be a Friday without a bit of chaos, would it? Guess what happened when I turned that uh, off? Yeah, water everywhere and uh, it wouldn't stop leaking. And uh, who didn't replace the ones that I uh, used last week? Oh yeah, me. Great, so we'll have to turn the water off and go and get some new ones. So we'll get that fitted again. Right. More nice and tight. Holding water, which is good. You probably notice all these bits in here. This has probably not helped the seal um, breaking down. And uh, funny enough, there's a few other things in here. We've got some uh, washers in there. And uh, yeah, we always put rubbish, not even stainless steel screws in there. It's completely corroded away, and all the bits are falling there. So I'll give that a clean out before I go. Um, but that is about it, really. 